and welcome to the Mixmeister Express Academy uh, tutorial video on using a tap to the beat counter. Uh, this is specifically for a Windows user. If you've been through my using iTunes videos, which are uh, free for everyone, I've always included them in my email sign up. But uh, I've actually moved them all to one page to make it a little easier for everybody to find. And in these videos, I reference uh, using a tap to the beat counter just to do some initial sampling. I realize that for those of you using Mixmeister Express, yes, it does go through. Yes, it does give you the beats per minute. But as you saw in the Academy training videos, that sometimes the beats per minute does not correlate to the actual training rate, as we call it. And so what I've always encouraged people to do is to use some type of a tap to beat counter, help you to start to learn to hear music, and it just makes it so much quicker to go through and sample, oh, this works, they, that doesn't work, rather than buy the song, have to import it into Mixmeister and find out, oh, this doesn't work for me. Down here at the very bottom of this page, I uh, list the two different versions. There's a Mac version you can get, and again, these are tap to the beat these do not do it automatically. Again, being that it's important that you identify the song based on what you hear, not what it electronically samples. So to show you how to use this, there's a download link right here. What you're going to want to do is right click on it. You're going to click, click Save Link As. Left click on it. And then you're going to pick a location. I would recommend the desktop. What will happen is that this little file will just sit on your desktop. It has a little logo. And every time you want to use it, you have to install it or open it. So it's bpmcounter.exe. And it, you click Save. Some of your computers, depending on the security levels that you have set, uh, may ask you, do you really want this? EXE files are those files that many times are malicious. This actually is coming directly from me, so you can be assured that there's nothing malicious about it. Okay, so now I've downloaded and I have it. I'm just going to go over here onto my desktop. And here I have it right here. And to, again, to open it, I'm just going to double click on it. And it executes, opens up, and here's the B B BPM counter. <laughs> Notice from 2004, and it's both this and the Mac version are really unsupported anymore. Someone created these, posted them online. I've never done anything with them since. One thing you want to do is you look at the view menu here, and I would suggest you put this always on top, and then you just put it at the beats per minute. And you can, if you're a music person, you could use measures per minute, but we're looking for beats per minute. But always on top, that way that even as you change between screens, it will stay there. Okay, so, and I'll show you how that works. I'm going to open up iTunes right here. Okay, and see, there it is. And you can always left-click on the title bar there and zoop this out of the way. Here's how you would use this. Again, you're just going through your music library. I picked out this one because uh, I don't have the gear that helps me to import the song, so hopefully you can hear it through my speakers. I'm going to play it. I love this. This is a great climbing song. I just hit the reset button and then I just hit the enter key. And then I just do enough of a sample to see where it's at. Has me right at 74 or thereabouts, which if you follow the training rates, falls in as an H level. This to me is the perfect climbing speed. It's fast enough so that you're not having any difficult getting your heart rate up toward threshold and at the same time it's not too fast to stand on and it also encourages people to carry some pretty heavy pedals. So that's how you use that and then you just click reset to start over again. Remember then you're going to run over here and then you can click once, click it again on the file. It allows you to edit it. You add your prefix, hit enter. And if you've got your smart playlist laid, set up, it will zip that song right over here into this playlist. And where is it here? And there it is, Pushing West. All right. So if you have any questions or comments, john at IndoorCycleInstructor.com. And uh, good luck with iTunes and Mixmeister Express. Mm -hmm.